The qualifiers are over, and the teams that made it through the gauntlet of international competition are getting ready for their trips to Hollywood to play for the $1 million prize. Here's a quick recap of how the qualifying teams from Europe, Australia, and North America got there. On a Friday night in the heart of Sydney, the top eight Call of Duty teams from Australia and New Zealand battled it out in an Activision hosted tournament to qualify for the Call of Duty Championships in LA this April. Over the course of eight hours filled with five round matches, teams were eliminated and brackets were advanced, with Team Immunity coming through the winner's brackets to secure the first guaranteed spot to LA. Meanwhile in the loser's brackets, Mind Freak Esports secured their place overseas by knocking avant-garde to third place. In the finals, however, Mind Freak lost out to the only team that managed to defeat them during the entire tournament, Team Immunity. We had actually pretty average preparation. Uh, we all have connection issues online and land is so much better than, you know, just playing uh, online. So uh, we were a bit, bit worried coming into it, but once we got to land, we were confident uh, we knew we could perform without the connection problems, so that was all good. Didn't prep great amount. Obviously, you're going to do a lot better for LA. It was also there's always great competition, but we made sure that we did enough to win. All the top American teams, you sort of watch them. They're, they're sort of the benchmark, so you watch them, you adapt, you take what they got. The thing we have going for us is from Australia, they don't really watch our scene at all. Yeah, we've got the element of surprise, so we know what they do and they won't know what we do. I honestly think anything can happen. Um, Call of Duty is it's, it's very easy for any team to beat another team in my If you prepare enough, like, Gun skill wise, I think we're fine. I've watched a lot of Americans and honestly, I don't see why not. You never know, we've never been there, no one's really had a chance to go for them, so it's anyone's guess. The European teams that made it through the ESL qualifiers for a trip to LA were Epsilon IRL, Furico Dragons, Millennium, Killerfish, Pain Gaming, Enigma Sweden. Rapid Break Your Limits and Farico All Stars. Two UK teams came to Cologne, but only one can go to Los Angeles. And that team is Farico Dragons. Congratulations, lads. How do you feel? Oh, uh, I'm buzzing. I've got such a bad headache as well, but I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm not surprised. That was a pretty tense match, right? For a 2 0, that's about as close as it can get. Yeah, it was really close, man. Um, well, I thought it was going to be as close as that, and it was, so it's a close game. The scores are up there now. You are going to Los Angeles. How do you rate your chances out there at the Global Finals? Um, I think it's a great opportunity. I'm not too sure how we'll do. Hopefully, we'll come in with some money, but we're going to go there and do our best and hopefully do UK proud. Would you like to see more tournaments of this type in Europe? You know, Call of Duty represent and more things yeah. like this? Yeah, definitely. I think it just gives everyone an extra bit of motivation to play. Okay, I'm here with the qualifying team from France. This is Millennium. Congratulations, guys. Now, you had a bit of a sticky start to your match yesterday. Talk me through that. Uh, yes, we chugged the first map. <clears throat> then uh, we play uh, we play better after, so it was cool. We we won uh, two maps in a row, so we qualified us. So you did what you needed to do. You've got your tickets to LA. How do you rate your chances when you get out there with all the big teams out in the US? There's a lot of big teams uh, in the US, but we're gonna if we play our game, you know, we can do something really big and why not play stop one? Great, show them what you can do in Hollywood. Everyone, this is your qualifying team from France, Millennium. Hey everybody, I am delighted to say that I am here with the European qualifiers for the Call of Duty Global Championships. It's Killerfish. Congratulations, talk me through the match. Yeah, it was a pretty hard match. They were they're a great team, however, but we managed to take take off and just take the map for us. To step off, sorry, and just take the take the, the tickets home for us. So next up for you is the global finals in Hollywood. Uh, how do you rate your chances over there? Uh, I think our chances are pretty good actually, because I think what separates us the most from other EU teams is that our S and D gameplay is actually really strong, and we're obviously going to work on Hardpoint and CTF in the, part in the next two weeks. So yeah. And this is a phenomenal event here in Cologne this weekend. Would you like to see more tournaments of this type on the European scene? Um, obviously, I mean, uh, a tournament with a one million dollar prize, but I mean, what could you possibly ask more for? So, um, well, congratulations, guys. All the best for uh, Hollywood. I'll see you out there. I'll be cheering for you. Congratulations.
I am delighted to say that I'm here with your Call of Duty European champions, Epsilon from Ireland. That was an incredible final match. How are you feeling right about now? Oh, it feels amazing. It feels amazing. Uh, we won the match. We won the, the match 3-1. The first map they won, they smashed us. But we used that as a warm-up map. We sort of knew they'd come in with motivation after winning the previous game. And uh, yeah, we won the next three maps comfortably. Amazing. Now, Epsilon's been making a name for themselves this weekend, going about their business pretty quietly. You've been very modest, but you must be overflowing with confidence now going into the, the World Championship in LA. Uh, definitely, we're a lot more confident. We came to this tournament hoping just to qualify for Hollywood. And we did that, but we just took every game as it came and we just ended up winning it. So it feels great. Fantastic. Well, all the best for Hollywood. Congratulations, gents. Eight trips to Hollywood were up for grabs at MLG Dallas and were taken by Farico Impact, Unite, VVV Gaming, Complexity, Envious, Optic Gaming, Agato Soar, and Quantic Gaming. However, with Complexity and Quantic having already qualified for the championships through the World League Champion Series online qualifying contest, the two remaining open slots went to the teams that placed 9th and 10th. After a round-robin tournament between three teams, Fear and Donut Shop emerged to punch their ticket to Hollywood. What's up everyone, Kelly, Mrs. Violence Kelly here with the GameSpot Esports Crew course at MLG Dallas with Day 2 Recaps. So, for Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Optic Gaming did take on a quick game against Fear 3-1. Fear did actually take a map off them, I know, shocking to believe. But one of the big upsets was Farico versus Envious. Farico came back from being down 4-1 to in Search and Destroy to win 6-4 and secure a 3-0 victory. Early evening did come around and VVV Gaming took on FaZe and Curse with a double 3-0. You know, wow, where did that come from? I don't know, but it's been really intense with them. Also, one of the biggest upsets of the entire day was Optic Gaming versus Unite. Late at night, I don't know if you guys caught it, but I did. It was super intense. Unite actually came out with a win of 3-0. No maps were given to Optic, unfortunately. Now, J. Lou, coach, my man. How have you been for one, brother? I'm actually pretty good, Kelly. How about you? I'm good, man, with my buddy. So, you know, you are the coach. You are the ears, the eyes. Well, how, how have these guys done? What has brought them to be such a good team? Is it their skill or is it their attitude? Well, actually, it's everything. This team was actually a pretty weird team because <laughs> we didn't really know each other at first, and you know, it's kind of a last minute thing, but everyone's over a couple months have came together and everyone's have made a lot of strategies and everything seems to be good team. What is up everyone? Kelly, Mrs. Violence Kelly here at MLG Winter Championships in Dallas, Texas with Big Timer from Team Optic. How's it going, buddy? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing fantastic, kind of killing in these heels, but you know, I'll sit down and watch some matches soon. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so what has been the Big Timer success? How have you, you know, made your success? Tell us a little bit about yourself, buddy. I'll, I mean, a lot of it's, it's pretty cliche, but a lot of it's the team around me. Obviously, Call of Duty is a four-on-four -four game, so it's you also have to, you know, just surround yourself with good teammates. Stick with those guys, try to be friends inside, outside the game. It's really hard. If you don't like somebody outside of the game and you start losing in the game, you're really gonna hate that person even more and it's gonna start multiplying and multiplying. So making sure you're teaming with the or yeah, you're teaming with your friends and you're all having a good time. You can play, practice, get all that stuff down later. Just make sure you're having a good time and having fun with it. We're playing games out here, that's what we're doing. So But you also gotta treat it like a business. You, you know, if you are friends, you do drop them. Absolutely. Are you still friends? Yes, I mean most of us are still friends. Obviously we uh, we had to drop Rambo earlier this year. Oh, we're yeah. still I mean I've teamed with Rambo for years. I love the kid. We're still very good friends. Absolutely. Uh, like you said, it's growing here in 2013, just yeah. seeing all the fans and stuff we have here. Full, it's full, bleachers are full, it's sold out. Yeah. So like you said, it is growing into a business. You have to make business decisions sometimes, but yes, we're all still really good friends in the pro community. Now the stage is set for the $1 million tournament, and we will soon see who the best Call of Duty Black Ops 2 players really are. Catch all of the action on GameSpot.com, where we're going to be bringing you all the games from the event from April 5 to 7. Who do you think is going to take it?